Hi everyone. Today we will go over the baseline grid, its uses, why we need to use it in an Affinity Publisher version 2 document. Affinity Publisher has a number of dozens of strong, robust uh, controls, functionalities to lay out text. And baseline grid is just one of them. Sometimes due to the font size, the leading, the distance between uh, lines, the space before a paragraph, after a paragraph, due to factors like that, the lines may not line up perfectly. Just if you look at this example, I'm going to pull in a line from here. As you can see, the first first lines match across two columns. But as we go down, you'll see that uh, there's a ugly lack of alignment between lines on both columns. So uh, this doesn't make uh, good reading and good layout. So Affinity Publisher uh, brought out a tool called Baseline Grid. And you can reach it from the menu bar. It's this little A with blue horizontal lines across it. When we click, you have a Baseline Grid uh, dialog box. Now, uh, to get rid of this misalignment, mismatch, all we need to do is click Use Baseline Grid. Now, as you can see, the lines on adjacent columns match perfectly, right? And the grid spacing, you can increase or decrease the grid spacing from this control. But as you can see, since this is a document-wide thing that applies to the whole document, all the other text in other text frames in the document get affected from this as well. Just look at this top right text frame. When we use a baseline, uh, all of a sudden, it actually becomes misaligned. <laughs> Something that was aligned in the beginning becomes misaligned. So how do we prevent this from happening and limit baseline grid to a single uh, text frame? Well, it's uh, kind of easy. We go after we select this and you select text frame dialog box. Okay. And for this, for any uh, text frame, in this case, this one, we can check ignore baseline grid so that any application of baseline grid to the green text frame will be ignored by the yellow text frame. Let's check that out. Okay, as you can see, it works. Now, it's only the green text frame in which the lines are matched perfectly across two adjacent columns. And here we can show the baseline grid, actually. And we can increase or decrease its opacity. We can change its color, but I think blue is uh, OK. And we can tell where to start. The start position, for example, here, it starts right from the top of the page. But if there is a need, you can adjust that as well. I will leave that at uh, zero. And this display threshold is an interesting feature. If you zoom in and out of the document, OK, like once you go over 100%, this is 100% document. Once you pull out, the uh, baseline grid automatically disappears, hidden. But by just selecting this, you can permanently prevent the appearance of the baseline grid. So I hope this has been a useful presentation of a very crucial feature of text layout 
in a affinity affinity publisher document so i see you around in the next video take good care